Namaskara, welcome back to the Fundamental of Electric and Electronics Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I am going to explain about earthing and the importance of earthing. See, first thing, what is meant by the earthing? See, in our home or uh, any institute or anywhere having electric connectivity or uh, any appliances are using the electric connectivity, it needs earthing. We all see the earthing. Uh, in our home, we have earthing. See now, in this video, I'm going to explain what is meant by the thing, what is the importance of our thing, or, and how it will go to effect if our thing is not there, and what are the different methods of the thing I will go to explain in this video. First, is what is meant by the thing? Our thing means connection of your neutral or electrical wire into a ground that is called our thing, that is connecting a metallic, that is a conducting part of an electric appliances or inst installation of uh, earth is called earthing, also called as a grounding. Somewhere they refer as a grounding. Uh, the process of connecting the metallic body of electrical operators and the equipment to a huge mass of earth by wire of negligible resistance is called earthing. So in the cell, we have a electrical appliances. There is a power generation or there may be some electrical equipment. That electrical body will be connected to an earth through a conducting wire of negligible resistance. That wire should have a least resistance. Then only it will the uh, leakage current, whatever the current will uh, easily flows through the earth. That is a uh, called as an earthing. When the body earth, see why when the electrical insulator, the body the body is connected to R through a conducting wire. That means it is having the is, uh, mass of earth is a huge. That means it's have a zero potential. It means zero, zero voltage. Zero voltage in the sense it's like a ground. We have seen the ground symbol. See whatever the current, all the current will consume this body, the earth body. That is a, because of its having zero potential. That is the potential of the earth, huge mass of the earth. This ensures that whenever the live conductor comes in contact with the outer body, the charge is released to the earth immediately. In the sense, whenever uh, by mistakes, if any person uh, comes in contact with that equipment and uh, there is an electrical shock for that uh, person, uh, the current will not flow through the human body, the current will flow through an earth thing like zero potential. Why? Because the body of equipment will be connected to earth through a wire, conducting wire of a zero resistance, uh, minimum resistance, the maximum number of current that flows through the earth, that's uh, having zero potential, is called as an earth. The earthing provides the simplest path to leakage current. Whatever the current leakage in an electrical equipment that is flow, that is given to an earth, this is called earthing. See, the purpose of earthing, why we need earthing, see, I am explaining with respect to electrical circuit, this is simplest electrical circuit, we have a AC supply, single phase AC supply, uh, we connect it to a load, the load have a resistance, there. you can say it is an appliance, uh, consider this iron box, iron box, this is the appliances we connected, we plugged into an AC supply in our home and uh, see whenever the person with the uh, iron box have a plastic insulated wire. The wire is surrounded by the insulator. If the person is touched this, then the equivalent circuit will be like this. See, this is the actual circuit. This is a AC supply socket and this is iron box. And RB, the resistance of our body, that is human body, uh, the person has touched that uh, uh, iron box. And R is an insulating, that is a resistance of the insulator. That means the plastic or the whatever the rubber surrounded by the conducting wire have a maximum insulator that is the maximum uh, resistance the ma if the maximum resistance means there is no current flows through this path ri and rb that is the insulator resistance of the insulator and the resistance of the body there is no current flows through this path the current flows through iron box there means no shock see this is the case one if it is properly insulated and if the human body comes in contact with that uh, electrically insulated body, there is no current flows through that because the resistance of the insulator is infinite and there is no current flows through this path. See, if we consider the second case, if this iron box insulation is damaged, there may, there may be some damages in the insulator and there is a conducting layer is exposed to the outer environment and if the person touch that uh, conducting layer, then what will happen? The, risk, the resistance of the insulator is zero. This is not there in this circuit. And only the resistance of the human body is present. 
and the maximum current flows through the human body. So this will go to happen when the human body comes contact with the conductor directly, the current flowing conductor, then the, all the current flows through the human body, then human body, uh, human data electric shock. This is called electric fusion electric shock. And there is no current flows through the uh, iron box. See, this is the second case and it is a dangerous case. Uh, what will happen? There is a casualty or uh, human uh, may have some uh, human life may get uh, damages. This is the problem. And uh, this is the safest case and this is the right condition. What will happen? See, it's a safe circuit, AC supply, socket, and you have an iron box. Iron box is connected here, and it is properly earth. The iron box outer surface is properly connected through earth of a low resistance. Low resistance means it's a copper wire. They are using the copper wire or some uh, galvanized iron wire, that wire having a lower resistance. And uh, whenever there is a contact, the person comes close contact with the conducting layer also the current will not flow through the human body the current will flow through the uh, earth resistor that means human is safe here see this is the uh, requirement this is the purpose of earthing the purpose of earthing is to save the human life from the electric shock in this case there is no earthing and in this case it's earthing see if it is a danger this is the dangerous case and this is a um, Safest case, this is the purpose of earthing. We can say the main purpose of earthing is to protect the human body from uh, the conducting uh, from the electric shock. And uh, the coming to importance of earthing, why we need earthing? See, the purpose of earthing and importance of earthing both are same. Here I am going to explain two more additional parts. First thing is to protect, earthing protects the person or human life from the short current. There may be an electric shock, that electric shock current can be protected. Uh, through earthing. The second one, the earthing provides the easiest path of flow of short circuit current even after the failure of insulation. Whenever the insulator is fails, the outer wire insulator is get damaged and uh, the current uh, conducting layer exposed to the outer surface. You, that failure case also, it is also protected when you have a proper earthing. That is the second case. The earthing protects the operators and personnel uh, from the high voltage. It is also protect the equipment. The equipment get may damage. When there is a short circuit, the equipment get damaged. Today we have an electric appliances of cost more than 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh if they get shorted. Like for example, if you consider a television, the television cost of uh, uh, high definition television cost of 1 lakh. And uh, so we have a smart television. See if that smart television get high voltage and high current, suddenly there is a maximum voltage and maximum current first through that television, the television get damages. To protect that, we need a thing. So these are all the three important. One is to protect the equipment, and another is to protect the human life from the short circuiting of current or electric shock. We use the other thing. So that can be explained with this diagram. Same circuit I have explained in a previous uh, slide that is about equivalent circuit and this is uh, with respect to the uh, diagram. See here there is a AC supply, main supply we have in our home and this is the electrical equipment. It is connected, uh, electrical equipment plugged into AC supply and whenever human body comes into contact, uh, if there is no thing, if the electric system without, without earthing that means whatever the leakage current or there may be a, a direct contact with the conductor, the most number of electrons or conductor flows through this human body into a ground, this is going to create a fatal problem. The human body, uh, he may get a burning problem or he may lose his life. This is an electric shock will happen. This is the connection, electrical appliances without earthing and this is with earthing. See, what will happen? This body, electrical equipment body is earth here. See, it is connected here. So you can see, observe this. There is no earthing here. Here is the earthing. Whenever there is a come to close contact, the resistance of the earthing is very nearer to the zero and the resistance of the human body is more. The current always flows through lower resistance path. This is the lowest resistance path. It flows through the earthing surface, not through human body and human life is protected. This is the importance of uh, electrical earthing system. If the no earthing, human will get electric shock. That is a problem. Earthing is very important. And what are the uh, earthing equipment we used in our 
warm or in industry it is uh, mentioned by indian electric rules that is uh, recognized by the indian electric rules 1956 Uh, rule number 61 it says that wherever you are using the voltage more than 125 125 voltage if the voltage source voltage is greater than 125 voltage it should be a earth in the source or the equipment or the appliances should be uh, grounded and all the metal frames of the motor generator and transformer and controlling equipment should be grounded whatever the motor generator transformer should be grounded and steel tower and steel a uh, tabular or the rail poles carrying the overhead conductor should be grounded there may be a, a tower uh, today we can see the telecommunication tower and there may be a rail poles electrical rail poles passing through uh, overhead all these things should be a properly uh, ground earth and metal frames of a portable electrical equipment such as heater table fans electric iron refrigerator air conditioning vacuum cleaner these are all the home appliances we used in our uh, day to day life all these things should be a properly earth and uh, other metal parts such as an uh, conduct switch gear uh, casing etc all these things should also be earth earthing terminal of three pin outlet uh, socket in our uh, home we have a three pin one is a face another is a neutral another is a Uh, wall, bigger wall that should be called as a ground point. That ground point should be properly earthed. In case of a concentrated cable, external conductor, external conductor also should be earthed. Stay wires of overhead lines if stay insulator is not provided. If the insulator, if the wire wall is overlaid and if the wire doesn't have properly insulated, it should be uh, earthing. All these things are mentioned by the Indian Electrical Rules uh, 61 and. Uh, types of earthing there are two types of earthing one is called neutral earthing and another is a equipment earthing what is meant by the neutral earthing neutral means we have a two wires one is a face wire another is the neutral wire face wire carries the current neutral wire will not carry any current this neutral wire will connect it to earth through a, a galvanized coil is called as a neutral in, in a neutral uh, system it's directly connected to earth with the help of galvanized coil gi means it's a galvanized wire the neutral earth thing is also called as a system earth thing it is also system earth thing the neutral earth is provides a generator transformer and motor wherever the generator transformer and motor it should be a neutral earth and equipment earth thing equipment earth thing is appliances equipment all this equipment is connected to earth thing that is called equipment earth thing it is provided to electrical equipment the non current carrying part that is a equipment body that may be a metallic body or there may be some frames that frames is connected through a earth, uh, earthing through wire that is called uh, equipment earthing the non current carrying part of the equipment like metallic frame is connected to earth with the help of conducting wire they use the conducting wire uh, and if any fault occur in the operator the short circuit current flows through the earth by with the help of the wire so this is called equipment uh, earthing and uh, there are different methods of earthing Uh, different mechanism or you can say this also different types of earthing uh, pipe earthing plate earthing strip earthing and rod earthing and earthing through water main these are all the different method uh, methods of earthing uh, we adopt in our home industry and appliances we used in our regular life so first is what is mean by the pipe earthing see before going to see this picture you just see this uh, video it will get uh, it is able to understand So this is the video. It is developed by a uh, learn engineer. Uh, it's a visually content. It's a pipe uh, thing, and it's available in YouTube. I am using this for education purpose. It describes the procedure for installing pipe earthing. A pit is dug about 20 to 30 feet in the ground. Depth and width depends on the nature and structure of the ground. Sufficient quantity of water is sprinkled in the bottom and surrounding walls to become bed. Bottom layer of the pit is filled up by a charcoal soft soil and charcoal pieces. In this system of earthing and pipe these are the pipe or so pipe or pipe means so copper pipe or copper copper pipe pipe or a galvanized pipe rolled threads at each end there is a specific a dimension it is mentioned uh, in the electric safety rules around the earth plate they will keep on place in the layer the of layer charcoal of salt and uh, salt this is a salt 
is a alternate layer salt charcoal salt charcoal in order to increase the place. embedded length of electrode under the ground more than one pipe section are hammered one above the other these are made from copper alloy and counter bolts to enclose threads earth lead is tightened through nut bolts from on earth pipe the earth lead is collected in a and metal pipe from the will, earth uh, pipe. Cement concrete they will do and it will be covered. And uh, in that pipe they will have a hole which helps to, to a funnel arrangement uh, is fixed use the water, water because water makes a good conductor. We need to add a water in a summer summer. <laughs> Masonry work is done to provide a lid on the earth pit. So this is a, called as a pipe or thing. See now in this picture you will able to understand. See this is the earth from year to year there is a hole. They have dig hole and this length is of a 2.2 uh, uh, meter or there may be 2.7 meter. There is a length of 2 meter copper K, uh, wire, uh, sorry, copper pipe, there is a 2.7 meter of galvanized wire. It depends upon the soil, what type of soil is it you are using. If this is an ordinary soil, they use the 2 meter long. If there is a dry soil uh, and rock, they use the 2.75 meter long uh, pipe. And this pipe has a hole of diameter of 12 millimeter. There is a 12 millimeter, uh, meter, uh, millimeter wire. And the one end of this pipe is a tapper, like this shop, they have a 45 degree inclination shot and they will place the charcoal and salt see you can see this is a charcoal and salt charcoal salt like this there is an alternate layer of length 2.5 centimeter you can observe this and there is a charcoal layer here ending it from the of uh, year to year they will connect a pipe that is a galvanized pipe of length uh, again it's a, a two, 2 meter length of pipe from there there is an alkyl uh, and here it is a concrete wall they place here and uh, from this part they connected uh, electrical equipment so this is a uh, where uh, this uh, this is a called as a pipe earthing they use the galvanized pipe they use alternate uh, layer of it and a charcoal and salt and each having a dimension see it's mentioned here gi means it's a galvanized pipe earthing is the best for the ground connection the pipe used in the electric earth, the galvanized and uh, perforated, perforated means there is a hole on that uh, uh, pipe and it is a diameter of, uh, the pipe diameter is 38 millimeter and length 2, mi uh, two meter, the 2 millimeter length, 2 meter length and if it is having a dry soil, 2.75 meter length is required. To facilitate the driving into a pipe into a ground, it is provided with a tapered casting. The one end of this pipe per, is in a tapered. The another pipe of 19 millimeter diameter and 2.4 millimeter. See, this is the another pipe you can see. This is another pipe of a length 2.45 meter length and 19 diameter is connected to the top of this uh, above of the galvanized wire and the earthing wire, earthing lead should be in a shoulder or connected to the pipe. The alternate layer of charcoal and salt are provided around the galvanized pipe to keep the surrounding moist enough. See, this is the called as a pipe earthing. Next is called as a plate of thing. Same thing you can uh, observe in this video. You understand what is meant by the plate of thing. This is also called as a copper plate. They will take the copper plate and there is a copper wire. And GI pipe, galvanized pipe, iodized salt, charcoal. These are all the elements they used in uh, Earthing system, they are putting it. See, this is the earthing uh, plate and diameter of 3 meter plus 3 meter. Then the copper plate in a vertical vertical fashion, they have to place it, fill the charcoal and fill salt. It is alternate layer. Again, fill charcoal and salt.
see uh, this is the video developed by ritesh kumar uh, i'm using this it for education purpose now you understand what is mean by the plate or thing this is a copper plate also called as a galvanized pipe uh, plate if it is a copper plate its dimension is 60 cm 60 cm and 3.18 uh, mm plate that is a thickness and this is the area 60 cm length and width if it is a galvanized plate it's a 60 cm 60 cm and thickness of 6.35 mm that is a galvanized plate vertical one end is uh, one uh, is connected to the pipe j pipe that is a timber bolt net chapter out on a copper see how they will place their net and bolt you have seen this in a video and it is also length of uh, 300 cm that is 3 m from there they will connect a cable it is a furnal with a cable and there is a place of uh, alternate charcoal layer charcoal and uh, salt so this is the diagram you can observe and uh, so this refers to the plate earthing plate earthing consisting of copper or galvanized plate uh, dimension 60 cm 60 cm 3.1 mm thickness it is a copper if it is a galvanized plate it is 60 cm by 60 cm by 6.35 mm and the plate is in a buried into the ground in such a way that it's faced vertically it should be placed vertically and one side it is a uh, connected to galvanized pipe of length 3 meter that 3 meter wide the gi wire is used uh, for a j plate and a copper wire for the copper plate alternate layer of charcoal and salt are used uh, around the plate the layer of the charcoal should be placed immediately over the plate successive layers of the charcoal salt charcoal salt like this they will be uh, sort of filled and uh, to maintain the sufficient uh, moisture so this is called a plate and uh, the another one uh, is called rod or thing rod or thing is same as the pipe or thing here they use the copper rod here you can see this is the copper rod and uh, they place a charcoal and a salt layer the copper rod will be arranged in such a way like uh, it's of 4 uh, feet and 4 feet there is a two copper rod and if the copper rod is connected with the dual so it is the same as in a pipe or thing the copper rod of 12.5 mm that is half inch diameter and 16 mm that is a 0.6 inch diameter of galvanized steel or an hollow section of 1 inch of length 2.5 m one is 2.5 another is 2 total 8.2 feet or in a buried up front to the earth manually or with the help of a pneumatic hammer and the length of an embedded electrode in the soil reduce the earth resistance to a desired level so this is a rod earth. another is called as a strip or wire earth so this is the uh, more they are used this in a rare case the strip or wire so you can use this uh, uh, strip steel strip or uh, they are using the 5 swg that is standard wire cage and uh, it is a copper strip or a strip of a cross section of 2.5 mm and 1.5 Six millimeter. That is a two point five millimeter uh, width and uh, thickness of one point six millimeter. This strip will be buried into a uh, land uh, ground. See where they are using this. This strip or the wires are buried into an horizontal tent. This type of thing used in the earth bed as a rocky soil and exactly uh, evocation work is difficult. Uh, means it is not able to dig deeply. Then they use this kind of uh, uh, strip or thing. Uh, previously they are using uh, silver uh, instead of uh, copper now uh, the another method of things called earthing through water means there's a water they use the water see there's a moisture level they, they have water and they have copper lid so this is a copper lid galvanized wire is connected and it's a water pipe and it's a salt and charcoal and it is a soil so this kind of earthing is called as a water main in this method of earthing the water main galvanized gi pipe are used for earthing purpose during selection of this galvanized pipe and uh, uh, galvanized wire make sure that the resistance of this earthing is low the resistance of this uh, galvanized pipe uh, should be low so this is called uh, earthing of uh, through water mains and uh, uh, during this system whatever we have discussed different method pipe plat strip wires and water mains and rod all these things they have connected a galvanized uh, wire it needs double earthing means single wire will not 
uh, meet the safety standard. We need two wires. There is a two uh, different wires has to be connected. Why? Because means if any wire, any one fails, the another one will act as an alternative arrangement. It is advisable to provide two separate earthing wires. The earthing wires should be two separate wires from the two separate electrodes connected to a same metallic body of an equipment at the two different points. Two different uh, electric wire is used to connect the same equipment at the two different points is called as a double earthing. This is known as a double earthing. Why we need this? If any one get failed, the other one will act as a protector. The advantage of the double uh, earthing are as follows. It should, uh, it's safety protect surety of the safety because if any if at any time one other thing is in, in a efficiency that the another will provide if one fails to provide the safety the other will provide uh, work as an earth thing as the two earth wires are in parallel the effective resistance of this equipment is of the electrode is reduced it means so we are seeing the two parallel resistance connection if we connected a uh, two parallel resistance of uh, 10k 10k this is a 10k ohm and this is a 10k ohm. The effective resistance will become half of this two. That means 10, 5 kilo ohm. The, whenever you have parallel path, the resistance will reduce. This means if you have a two parallel earthing system uh, connected, the effective resistance will be low and maximum leakage current goes through the lowest resistance path, not to the human body. It provides safety. So this is the another important. And uh, thank you.